Okay, next we have Chuck from Alma. Chuck, you have a question about um, health care. Go ahead, Chuck. Yes, thank you. See, I was wondering if are the three branches of the government going to be on the same plan as the general public private sector, or is the, the Senate and the House and the elect, uh, other branches, are they going to have a, their own little health care plan? Well, that's a great question, Chuck. First of all, just for clarification, I don't, uh, I'm not a member of, of the Federal Employees Health uh, Benefits Plan. Uh, my wife and I get it somewhere else, and a lot of members aren't under that, that program either. But this is what we're trying to do under the health care reform bill. We're trying to set up the same type of exchange, the same type of private plan options that federal employees have today. And we're going to couple that for small businesses, family farmers, and individuals with affordability tax credits so that they're in a better position to go into that marketplace, shop for a health plan that makes sense, and they're better able to, to afford it. So the exchange that you may have been hearing a lot about is modeled exactly after the federal employee uh, health uh, benefit plan that's been in existence. And it, and it forces competition with these health insurance companies where there's a great lack of competition today because of the tremendous consolidation and market control that a few very large health insurance companies have in our market. And therefore, they can set the price, the premium, the co-pays, the deductibles any way they want because people don't have other options to choose from. That's really what we're trying to accomplish with health care reform. Is how do we empower individuals and businesses with more choices so they have more control over their health care rather than maybe one or two large health insurance companies that dominate their market and then they're held hostage. You may have heard, Chuck, that the recent announcements from big insurance companies of premium increases in, in some states. In the small group market, there's going to be a 40% increase in premiums in California alone. 60% in Illinois, 50% in, in Minnesota, and, and double-digit increases in Wisconsin. And that's because of the lack of competition that exists. It's one of the reasons why I've introduced this National Health Insurance Exchange Program for small businesses, farmers, and individuals uh, to go in order to force that competition, give people more choices and more control uh, over their health care decisions. And by the way, if you like the plan you have right now, keep it. If you like the doctor that you have now, you keep that too. It's going to be the, the people's choice uh, to decide those issues uh, and no longer uh, health insurance companies. Thanks, Chuck.